I'm sharing this video with you so that you will see even the subliminal that is hidden inside of your churches and so that you will awake to what is really the subliminal messaging that is going on even in the church near you. As you can see here, this is pictured on an actual church. And as you can see, we have what looks to be a pyramid. What does that pyramid resemble us of? Oh, that's right. The pyramid of the Egyptians, the Egyptian pyramid of mystery religion. And what is inside of this pyramid? An all-seeing eye, the eye of Horus, mystery religion. And what is on top of this? A cross. And if you do the research on a cross, you will see that a cross has nothing to do with the resurrection of our Messiah and the death of our Messiah, it has everything to do with the worship of the pagan deity, Tammuz. But if you think that the Illuminati is not in your church, I suggest you think again, because I am about to show you some of the false pastors and preachers and ministers who are in the Illuminati and who are even involved with Freemasonry. Is your pastor on this list? Let's find out now. Remember, everything is subliminal. Everything has a message behind it. Will you recognize the subliminal messages behind what these people are doing? Because if not, then you have been deceived. And I'm about to show you certain pictures of pastors and some of the things they do and the hand signs and gestures that they make because these are not just any old hand signs and hand symbols. These hand symbols symbolize the Illuminati and Freemasonry. It symbolizes the Brotherhood. It symbolizes the world of satanic worship and you have no idea. So here I'm going to show you some pictures and hope you can see for yourself. As you can see, here's Billy Graham and as you can see, he's putting up all of the hand signals and hand signs that are involved with Freemasonry and the Illuminati. And this is just one of them that happens to symbolize the triangle and the pyramid as in mystery Babylonian religion. And here's some more signs that only you would know in the Brotherhood. And here's another one as well. But is he the only one? Let's keep going. We see Rick Warren making the same sign. Here we see again the triangle, the triangle there. Once again, we see this symbol right here. And this is a very, very famous Masonic symbol right here that is only to be known in the Brotherhood. But is he the only one? We have Word of Faith and Prosperity Preachers, Kenneth Copeland as well. Look, he's even making the 666 sign. You know, the same sign that mostly all celebrities sign. They sign the Baphomet and the 666. Well, Kenneth Copeland is no different because, see, he too worships a god. And the god he worships is not the god you're thinking of, but it is, in fact, Satan. As you can see, he's putting up once again the triangle sign. Here are more Masonic Illuminati hand gestures. What about Jesse Duplantis? Is he an exception? No, he's not. He is also signing up the Brotherhood as well. See the triangle pyramid sign right here? Wow, a lot of hand gestures. Jerry Savelle, is he any different? Nope, I can see it here as well. So as you can see, they are all part of the Brotherhood. And what about Kenneth E. Hagen? Is he any different? No, because what are they doing? They are giving worship and praise to Satan, as you can see with the 666. Now, mind you, this is not anything new. This has been going on even in the days of Egypt. And as you can see here, this is another famous and very, very prominent hand sign and hand gesture to the Brotherhood. As you can see, the Illuminati is even in the church. But is that all? Let's look at this book. What does that remind us of? Oh, yeah, the phallic symbol of Horus. Interesting. But let's keep going. Robert Morris, the 666 once again, folding up of the hands. Wow, he is not the only one. The triangle sign, all Masonic hand gestures. What about Joel Osteen? Is he any different? No, he's not. What about Creflo Dollar? Or should I say Creflo got your dollar? Ha, ha, ha. Because tithing isn't what they make it seem like it is. 
When you really research tithing, it has nothing to do with money and everything to do with food. But has your pastor told you that? No, because he works for the Illuminati. As you can see, Joel Osteen, Rod Parsley, Paula White, and yes, Creflo got your dollar. But are they the only ones? No, Joyce Meyer as well. Look, she's putting up the triangle symbol as well. There we see it again and again. So she is definitely part of the sisterhood as well. Joseph Prince as well. The 666 symbol, 666 again. And even this symbol as well. They are all demonic hand gestures referencing and pointing to the elite, the Illuminati. And of course, we cannot forget our favorite T.D. Jakes, well promoted by the media. 666, 666, the Masonic handshake, even Whoopi Goldberg and LaToya Jackson have done this Masonic handshake to represent the brotherhood and the sisterhood. Okay, here we see again the triangle symbol, the triangle symbol, and more Masonic Illuminati hand gestures. Now, I'll leave a link so you can see this. And you're probably wondering, Illuminati in the church? The Illuminati's in the church? Are you serious? You can't be serious. Oh, we're serious. And not only that, we are showing you so that you can see that these hand gestures, these subliminal hand gestures are not just subliminal, but they do reference the brotherhood and the sisterhood, and it lets you know that your, that your pastor is in fact part of the brotherhood and the sisterhood. Because what you need to understand is that in order to have any type of money, any type of millions, billions of dollars, even in churches, you have to understand that you have to go through the boule, you have to go through the Illuminati, you have to go through Skull and Bones, and you have to join the world of Freemasonry. And even in order to even have your own church, you have to have a 501c3, which is basically a death sentence and enslavement to the government. And by the way, going to church on Sunday is just another form of sun worship, just like Babylonian mystery religion. I hope the pieces are finally connecting together because as you can see, the Illuminati is even in your church. Come out of her. My people, come out of the church, come out of Mystery Babylon, and come into truth, because judgment is even at the door. This is Truth Unveiled.